and once that fender is on here you will never see my shoddy work ever again shut up you don't think ryan is famous cousin ryan you gotta Hey, what's up YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan and we're working on the Ectomobile today, our custom Ectomobile that we're building out of a 1959 Ford Ranch Wagon. Gonna replace the emergency brake lever. Uh, if you guys have followed us very long, you remember last summer Ryder and I went and got this out of another 1959 wagon at the junkyard. To replace the one that is in our car here, you can see the release lever, which is this thing right here is broken off on ours. So we found this one in good shape, unbolted it, and thought we would bolt it right back into ours. Not the case. The bolts would just spin and wouldn't release from the nuts and come to find out these little square nuts that are on the other side of the bolts, these bolts here, you have to remove the entire fender from the car to get to them right here on this side now theoretically you shouldn't have to remove the fender but the way that this car was put together you see these little I don't know if these are carriage bolts or what you would call or carriage nuts but the nuts the little square nut fits inside of this uh, bracket here and then the bracket snaps into these little square holes and you should be able to just run the bolt into them from this side but let me undo this one here. Show you guys. You can see this little uh, this little hook here that would hook. Hopefully, you can see that inside there and hold it in place. Well, that one's busted off, and these just spun with a bolt. So we had to take the fender off. What I'm going to do now is bolt the new one in with. I bought here at the hardware store some washers and some nuts and we're going to bolt it in and then tack weld them here so they can't go anywhere and then we'll put the fender back on. So I don't know if we'll put the fender back on today or not because I want to clean some of this up and uh, <clears throat> maybe paint some of it but uh, we'll at least get the emergency brake pedal uh, bolts tack welded in and yeah. Also of note, I'm using John's Sony action cam because we were getting some funny noise with the GoPros and uh, he loaned me his action cam to see if that, uh, if the cameras were the problem or if it's something I'm doing. Um, so I'm curious, I'm, I'm anxious to watch this footage and see if that noise has gone away. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt that in and then we'll get out the welder and start tack welding some things in. Exciting stuff. I'm gonna use the old grinder here to clean off the paint and gunk from around these. So when we go to tack weld, the washers and nuts on, uh, the weld can bite to it without trying to burn through the paint. Just make it weld easier. It's gonna have to do. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, these were the three bolts. There's one up there, one here, and one over here that I was tightening uh, when I was holding the nuts on the outside. Uh, you can see the emergency brake works, the release. So uh, we're happy with that. Now we're gonna come over here and now that we've got these nuts in place on the bolts, we're gonna tack weld these in here and then they won't move again and if we do need to remove that bracket these bolts will still come out all right here we go we're just using a standard 110 Lincoln MIG welder here and uh, here's the ground you can see I've cleaned a little spot I've been using this as my ground whenever I've done been doing any welding here I'm to actually turn that over get a good bite on it there Turn this bad boy on, turn the gas on. Those 
not the prettiest welds I've ever done, but they'll work. All right, well, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, you can see here, emergency brake, parking brake works, brake release works. And like I said, if we ever need to replace this mechanism again, these bolts will just unscrew right from these here. Gosh, I'm really not impressed with those welds that I did, but they will work. And once that fender is on here, you will never see my shoddy work ever again. We did resolve the issue of these stupid little uh, square nuts with the carriage or cage nuts, whatever they call these stupid things. Crappy design, not meant to last 60 years. I'm sure they figured this car would be crushed within 10 or 15 and weren't worried about uh, making things easy to fix 60 years later. But we resolved it and I'm excited and we're close we're close to driving this thing so thank you guys for hanging out with me while i replaced that bracket and resolved that issue and until next time be excellent to each other later you know so it's cousin ryan on the hollywood boulevard you know so it's bigger than any superstar all of us pity you some some real to a bar some them sweeter than any chocolate bar boom hey.